Did you ever felt clicking multiple times in trading view to create an alert? How about creating 100 alerts? It's not possible. Let me show you an automated way for creating an alert. I'm going to use Chrome in a debug mode. Then I'm going to use the Selenium, which is a UI automation framework. And finally, I'll be using the Python script, which is easy for execution and maintenance. Here is a big command I'm giving. Uh, ignore for now. I'm going to give these details later. But just one thing you need to notice, the debugging port 9222. That's where the Chrome is going to run. I am going to run this Chrome in a debugging mode just to avoid the authentication and the two-factor or the other details which is very complex for automation and we don't want to deal with those things. So which I'm going to use a manual step here just by signing in with your username and uh, your uh, two-factor authentication so you don't really need to automate all those complex procedures. So now you have this login and this is a session we are going to use for rest of our automation. Let's create a virtual environment where we will be installing the Selenium. And we'll use a pip install, pip install Selenium. And uh, I already have them installed so it satisfies the requirement. Uh, in case if you don't have, it will go through the installation procedure. Let me navigate to the code which I already have. I'm just going to walk through the code, I'm not going to write them step by step. That way it's not a time consuming one. Let me open the file. Here is a high level structure of my code. Uh, first thing is like we need to import all the necessary packages. Here I'm importing all the Selenium web driver packages needed and also the art parse and logging uh, for command line parsing. Right. This is a class which I have and uh, this is a main function which is taking inputs and processing it further. Please feel free to modify your code according to your need. This is just my requirement where I just take the strategy which is having two indicator called B4 and super trend. Obviously like feel free to use the same template or change it according to your need. This is just a sample script. Um, Say so here the same indicator I have, I have added this super trend indicator which most of the people know and this is a B4 indicator. So these are the two indicators I am going to use. Right? If you look at the indicator details, uh, there are a few conditions and name. This, is, this should exactly match the UI details. Let's go and see the alert. Right? If I go and click the alert, this is the symbol which I have selected here, spy. It is a name. So this name, the super trend, the bracket like you have 10, H12, other things and the signal. That should exactly match this one because the Selenium is going to pattern match this one and select the component accordingly. So don't make any mistake here. Just copy paste exactly what it is. And this is a for loop. Uh, which will go through the whole indicator, like how many indicators you have, how many uh, entry exit, like based on that, it will like go through this uh, workflow. And this is a high level main function which is being used here. It will create the alert based on this indicator, right? Okay, let me walk through the functions one by one. So it's pretty simple explanation. Uh, in it is basically setting up the logger, uh, parsing the option here if you see this is a debug uh, address this is the port number 9222 which is being used by the session basically we are using the same login session so avoiding the login right if you go to this place i have used this uh, remote 9222 this is a debugging port so we are going to use the python script to use the same port number so that like we are reusing the session and avoiding the authentication. So this is a setup logger function, pretty simple. This is a page wait load time. So how long you need to wait for the page to load. Uh, based on your network, you can increase or decrease a delay. 
This is for any element to be visible. Sometimes some element take more time to show up. Just adjust your uh, delay accordingly. And this is a symbol. If you want to run the script, like you want to provide an input of what symbol page to load, right? And there's a timeline, uh, which timeline you wanted to select a one minute chart or five minute chart, three minute chart, whatever it is. Uh, this will select the timeline based on that one. How I'm actually uh, trying to get this is in the trading view, if you try to type some number, five or whatever the number numerical, it will actually take you to the timeline window. And if you type any symbol, it will take you to the symbol. So that's how I'm automating this one. So here I am selecting different time zones, not time zones, it's a timeline. It will take your uh, page accordingly. So this function is actually navigating to that timeline. And this is the workflow for clicking the alert event. So if you go to this alert page, and if you click an alert uh, tab, that's how it is. And this is the opening the alert tab. Once you create an alert tab, there is a tab which is showing. So there are like log and alert. So it is actually selecting alert in case if your visibility is within the log. And this is for the actual function, the create alert. This is the main logic. Let me quickly go through it. This is getting the input of symbol, interval, strategy, and other details uh, based on uh, the input. If you go into the main section in the below, like that is calling this function with all this parameter, right? And first one is like clicking the uh, plus button. Then the second one is selecting the condition, which what condition it is. And the third one is the entry position, long, short, all these inputs are already fed in the main uh, block. It's passed here and it is selected one by one. Here you are selecting a bar code so that you get this indicator every minute or five minute, whatever it is. And this is the alert name. You want to give some name. So this is generating some name and then putting it there. And this is the final the JSON format. That's a payload where you're going to receive. So I am constructing a payload with all these uh, necessary details but you feel free to change it according to your need. There are a lot of variables there as well as static information. So that's what the high level uh, code workflow is. It's not very complex. It's pretty straightforward. And this is a quit function. Just once everything is done, you quit this function. Right. And this is a for loop which I already explained. This is going through the loop of the strategy and indicator. If you have high indicators, it will create five indicators and entry exit positions for everything. So let's see them in the action. So all you need to do is, uh, if you run a Python, it will script like it's going to ask for you the parameter uh, type symbol, spy or apple, whatever it is, and provide the time frame, which is a five minute time frame and the strategy. So this strategy will blow up into two indicators. So it's now selected the spy. And now it's going to select the training. It's like it's super fast. It's very hard to visibly see it. It's the, that's a power of automation. It does very, very fast. And see within few seconds, it created all those four alerts and it's an active state. Uh, if you go into the alerts and then see what it has configured, you can pretty much see what it has selected, the appropriate indicator, entry exit, payload, name, all four alerts, whatever it needs, because I have two indicator and yeah, entry exit for two of them, right? And it's easy for us to create hundreds and hundreds of alerts using the same thing. Let's try with say another symbol, Apple. So now it's going to do the same thing, like it's going to do the Apple. And since it's an alert, uh, view already it goes through the symbol and then switches back the automation takes care of everything so you don't need to worry about it in which focus the uh, the pages it will take care of it so yeah like that's pretty straightforward and it is easy for us to create alerts with one click even you can write a wrapper on top of it to create even more automation using this basic template you can create now have the flexibility of deleting everything and then recreating on will. Uh, earlier you might be worried about deleting.
to access the command and code you go to nexusvision.com there i have posted a blog which will have all those details uh, hope you got a, a better view of this automation uh, hopefully you like this video uh, please uh, subscribe and like to my channel and i would like to uh, post more such videos please comment anything required thanks for watching this video